Hi, my name is Chef Galen. I'm a certified holistic nutritionist, reggae master. I'm also a business owner and I am really excited that you're here with me, okay? Um, today we are actually going to be talking about, this is one of my favorite subjects. I've even written and talk about it, published on Amazon. It's all about how to live a spiritual life on purpose, okay? So if you've been following me for a while now, you know that living life just isn't enough for me. It's actually living a life on purpose and making that impact in this world that's so important to transform lives. That's why I have books written. Um, I've owned you know, four restaurants. My last one was all about healing. I'm a gut health specialist as a nutritionist. And I've really learned through this process, being in, in this uh, industry for over 20 years, that it is more than just eating right and exercise, and it's actually more than just meditating and prayer. You really have to make a conscious effort if you are really wanting to make the impact that you're looking for. So I put together 10 bullet points that will help you in your journey. Um, a lot of them are actually written in my book, Divinely Inspired Action, Reprogramming the Subconscious Mind for a Great Purpose, okay? So what is living a life on purpose in the spiritual realm? What is that, what does that mean? Okay, well living a life, um, like a spiritual life with intention involves cultivating practices and perspectives that nourish connection, okay, um, to something that's greater than yourself, all right? So you really have to believe in yourself and surround yourself with people who believe in you. You all, this is so important and not to take offense when someone sees the light in you and you're feeling a sense of fear because you know that it's go time, okay? This is something that, oh, I mean, we can say we want it, we want it, we want it, we want it, but then when it when we are faced with it, a lot of times we can we can sabotage it and we can be our worst enemy, okay? And so today I really want to speak into you that yes, you can do this, all right? So the first thing is to set intentions. So setting an intention by is by beginning to be super clear with what you're doing. Um, I have just started this recently. So I've owned four restaurants across the country. Um, I used to cater for the film crews. I've, I've also done like wedding, wedding cakes, like ton, all the things, all the things, okay? And it's amazing when you actually set your intention out there and you say yes. And then all of a sudden when you're, when you're proposed um, like a new, uh, a new adventure, how, how you start doubting yourself. You start doubting yourself. And I wanna come against self-doubt right now and say, yes, you can. If God put that vision in your heart, in your soul, in your mind, you can do it. I promise you, you're not alone in this journey, okay? So I just want you to receive that and I want you to go out boldly and I really want you just to become laser focused and not give up, okay? Um, okay, so setting intentions is number one. Okay, number two, practice mindfulness. So cultivate mindfulness, all right? By bringing your awareness to the present moment, like just noticing the here and now, okay? And, uh, and also just having this sense of aware, like awe and wonder, like, oh my gosh, this is really going to happen. Gosh, it's late. Okay, um, and really just trusting yourself in the process, okay? So taking, you know, just taking that time out. I'm a nature person, so for me, just taking that time out in nature um, and really clearing my mind. I'm also a gym girl, so just getting into the gym and uh, just clearing my mind. I'm a morning person. That is when I like to meditate, journal. I'm a huge journaler. Um, I journal every single day. Uh, journaling is so important to me, as you can see. Like, I this is just from the beginning of the year. You know what I mean? 
I go for it, okay? And then this is the other thing too that I feel like is really important is to have a separate journal for your intention, okay? So if you're uh, working on a dream or a goal or an aspiration, all those thoughts and uh, feelings and energies and ideas and creativeness go into one special journal. This was actually a journal that was given to me. Um, the person went to a temple over in Hawaii and um, and they brought this get back as a gift. And this was actually a couple of years ago and I didn't start using it until now. And uh, because I have another big project that I'm working on and so I named my journal and now I write in it um, all the things that were that I'm wanting to not just uh, not just to it's not like a journal just to put ideas and creativeness but it's also the vibe and energy that you want to feel in your establishment and what you want others to feel okay when they're there with you all right so that's two, practicing a mindfulness. One is setting intentions. Three, connect with nature. I just touched on that. Four, cultivate gratitude. Practice gratitude as a way of acknowledging the abundance and blessings in your life. Keep gratitude journals, okay? I'm really into this. I make, I used to when my girls were younger and I had like somewhat of control over them. Now they're 18 and 20. But before they could go on the computer or go outside and play, every time when they came home from school, I would make them write in their gratitude journal something they were grateful for. And uh, it's, very, it's very sweet to even see now that they really live a life of gratitude because they've had to write it down for so many years and how important it is, right? Um, so keep a journal, uh, write it down, the things that you're thankful for, okay? Even if you're, you're like, oh, what, I, life is really rough. You all, I've gone through dark, dark, dark seasons that I didn't even think I was going to come up from. But even just, just something as small as, you know, I woke up this morning, you know, or my parents are healthy and alive, you know, or just, I mean, there's so much to be grateful for. And I know sometimes we we are in such a dark place that we'll wake up in the morning, we'll see the sunrise, and we're like, how dare you sunrise? I mean, do you realize what I'm going through or my child's going through or someone's going through? But I want you to know there's so much power in those moments of gratitude, especially when you're in those really hard places and God's calling you to a place in life where you're living on purpose to a whole nother level where literally you can't even explain it and you say it's god it's a god thing it's a god thing and this is all about surrendering this is why you really have to surrender let go of control and not walk in fear but walk through the fear walk through the fear okay all right number four Four, is that four? Okay, um, number five, engage in spiritual practices. Okay, so tonight I'm going to goddess yoga. Thursdays I do meditation and I also do yoga. Uh, every morning I do my my uh, my meditation and um, as a Reiki master, it's really important because I'm, you know, it's my practice of healing other, helping others heal themselves. I have to be in alignment personally. So taking that time is really important. Um, and also, seeking uh, like meaningful and uh, purposeful relationships. This morning I had a girlfriend come over and uh, we just really energetically connected on a lot of spiritual um, bases because she's very purpose-driven in her own personal life. And so surrounding yourself with others that are like-minded is very important. We are in the process of opening up a retreat center that will really collectively bring people like you and I together so that we can form a bigger unit in this world that we live in of giving hope and really direction to people who are in a dark space or they're healing, right? Um, so that's number uh, six. So seven, cultivate compassion and love. Um, eight, serving others. Okay, finding ways to serve others and contribute in um, what you put out is what you attract, right? What you're seeking is seeking you. Uh, stay open and curious to what God is trying to tell you. And also finding community and support. So that's so important, you know, just really having that community. If you want to learn more about our retreat center, get in touch with me. We have a goddess retreat going on at the end of uh, May, and it's just going to be so transformational.
All right. I love you all so much.